Well, you know, I've been attending Investor Day now for two or three years, I think. Three years, maybe two years. And uh, I think one thing you're you noticing that every year it gets about 3x better than it was a year before. So I think the impression is extremely positive. I think it was, I enjoyed it last year, and I think this year it's even more useful in terms of scope, size, quality, uh, type of attendees, quality of the companies, etc. So pretty much every key criteria, I think, is significantly improved uh, from what was already a good, uh, good conference uh, years before. I think uh, what I like the most, I think it's a good venue to meet a lot of people in the same place in a very short period of time, which is very efficient, right? I think uh, organizers, Victoria and the team, did an extremely good job in bringing a very diverse set of people in one occasion, which would be very difficult to meet with on, on other occasions. And so this is a very efficient way in two days to meet a lot of people that would take a long time to meet in any other uh, place. Yeah, we've been probably one of the earliest Western venture capitalists investing in CE. I think in Central and Eastern Europe, we probably did our first investment in the late 90s. Uh, in Russia, Ukraine, uh, kind of former CIS countries, we did our first investment in 2002. Uh, and we've been extremely uh, aggressive and we've even actually increased our investment scope in over the last two years. So we did as many deals in the last two years as we did in the, almost seven years uh, before that. And we think that trend will accelerate. So we're very interested in the region and will continue very aggressively uh, investing here. Uh, we've made total about 13 investments in Russia and Ukraine. Uh, that number is probably, I don't know, I don't remember the exact number, but in probably in the 20s, if you look at the entire Central and Eastern Europe, we've been very active in Poland, been very active in uh, uh, Czech Republic, uh, in other places in Eastern Europe. So, but in Russia and Ukraine, I think we've done about 13 investments over the last uh, seven years. Uh, we have a number of very interesting success stories. So our very first investment in Russia in 2002 was a company called Yandex, which is fairly well known. Uh, we've done a number of other investments in uh, Russia, Very most recently we've invested in a company called Zapato, which we recently sold uh, to Ozone. Uh, in Eastern Europe, uh, we had a number of very successful uh, companies we've invested in, a company called AVG, uh, which just recently, this year, had an uh, initial public offering and had, uh, became a public company. We've also invested in, in various other e-commerce companies, for example, we, we invested in iMall. Uh, which is Amazon of Eastern Europe, a uh, company in Czech Republic, which was also very recently acquired by Naspers. So we've had a really number of successful investments and exits in the region, and that's why we are very interested in this region, because it's been very good to us. I think our investment criteria is not very different from a typical, uh, uh, any other VC fund. I think we're looking for the same things that typical investor looks like, which is high-quality team, uh, good product, potential, a large potential market, uh, Com good competitive advantage, good barrier to entry. So all the typical things that most investors uh, look for when they look in the startup. I don't think we are much different than, than the typical. Uh, we have very diverse uh, investment strategy. We invest, uh, we roughly probably divide the world into four areas. We are very active in the consumer internet space. We invest a lot in e-commerce, uh, social gaming, mobile gaming, uh, various other consumer internet properties. Uh, we are very interested in enterprise software, which Ukraine is actually very strong at in terms of engineering talent. A number of engineers that are working for enterprise software companies and developing some of the uh, good, good products out there. Uh, we are very active in mobile investments. Uh, we do less in this part of the world, but we do globally, we do a few semiconductor investments, etc. So we have a very wide uh, area of investments, pretty much anything that has to do with technology and internet and IT. Uh, it's, it's our target, uh, target segment. Yeah, Speak to it is a very interesting company. I think we have actually known them before uh, the, they became a finalist. I was actually a judge last year as well uh, at the event, so I know them well. Uh, but Speak to it is a very interesting company. I think they are trying to address the very new segment of uh, kind of intelligent assistance, right? So everybody have uh, heard of Siri. If you have an iPhone, you have probably tried Siri. And the company is taking, has a very interesting technology that improves upon uh, intelligent assistance and mobile assistance segment. Uh, and they're very well positioned to address other devices and other segments of devices, such as uh, other mobile platforms, uh, automotive, TV, and a bunch of other segments which are going to be where mobile, not mobile, where intelligent assistant uh, will be a big load.